Can you imagine how many of these events we could have prevented? All of them. We don't need to have crowd surges and it's entirely unnecessary that people die in today's age. As events around the world grow larger and larger, it becomes more and more difficult to keep people safe. This was the deadliest crowd crush in South Korean history. Nearly 160 young people were killed when they got trapped in an overcrowded alley with that deadly crush of people at a rap concert. And in the US, a combination of poor preparation, bad timing, and a huge crowd surge led to this crowd crush. How can AI stop these disasters from happening again? Obviously, there are systems out there, but they observe, they don't predict, they don't prevent. That's Tom Kirkmeyer. He leads the team who have created this technology, which is a real-time crowd counting and mapping solution. It combines cameras with AI-driven analytics to provide insights into crowd density and movement. It basically understands crowd behavior and suggests proactive approaches to stop incidents happening before they arise. We develop a holistic solution which other people can't do at the moment. But also we start having forecasts. We can look in the future and say, alert people to issues that might arise in the next minute or two or five. What we want to do is enable police officers, senior commanders, event organizers to not get overwhelmed, to not be surprised and be on the front foot, not on the back foot. And the big problem we have at the moment is with policing and all security events, we're always reactive. We're never proactive. And that tool now allows us to be proactive, anticipate problems and solve them before they actually occur. The issue we have is we don't have a model how we model large crowds. We rely on fluid dynamics, models from physics. It works reasonably well, but it doesn't work perfectly. And so what we can do now is enhance these models which we have in terms of fluid dynamics or actually replace them with something better. And this is now nice about big data and AI because we model each particular person. You know, we have dots on the screen, which you see. Now it's obviously very computing intensive and we can't do it in real time all the time. But once we have better models, we can actually plan, we can forecast and we can, and it's super important, simulate. So we can go and say, you know, we have these large events you know, what do we expect? So we've been working with Greater Manchester Police for well over a decade. We still learn every day, as does everybody else on AI, but it's an exciting journey. It's an application where research can really help make the world a better place. The technology is being developed in collaboration with Manchester Police, who are providing invaluable insights for refining the system to ensure safety during match days and other large-scale events. This is football that's seen all around the world, with tens of thousands of people coming and enjoying. And there's two things that we really have to deal with. We, we have to deal with the fact that we have to make the event as safe as possible, and that's why understanding crowd dynamics and how many people in crowds are so important to us. But sometimes we also get disorder, sometimes people are intent in causing problems. And again, we have to have a look sometimes at how we move people around a particular venue. And again, the technology is helping us understand the crowds that we've got, the number of officers that we need to move people through a particular area. The proof of concept that we're doing with the London School of Economics is about us properly understanding uh, crowd sizes, crowd dynamics, how crowds are moving. Um, and it's a really important tool for us in understanding public order, public safety. But previously, we would have done uh, estimations using you know, specialist officers that understand crowds. Um, and these were reasonable, but nowhere near as accurate as what we've seen so far by the technology. Particularly attached to the drone, we're getting overhead footage of our crowds and the technology is telling us how many are in there. And soon it'll be able to tell us the density and whether we've got any crushing issues. I'm really excited about the, uh, the technologies that are going to come over the next few years. Artificial intelligence is going to really help policing, in my opinion. And the technology that we're working with London School of Economics is proving that already. The nice part of this is we're shaping the future in a way. We're shaping the technology. There are certain things which are already developed, other things which we are developing. One big question is how do we bring this together? The application is global. And where I also want to get to is that we reduce the waste. 
that we don't need so many security staff, that we don't need so many police officers. It's really expensive to police these events. So we can save millions and millions, which we can then use for better applications. It's been important for a long time, but that just wasn't the solution. We now have the tools that we can deliver this technology at a price point everybody can afford. We deliver something that wasn't there for which there's a huge need everywhere.